Hello everyone, my name is Prince Insomniac, and today I will be talking about a horror game that seems to be in everyone's best interest, The Return to Bloody Nights. By now by no means am I an expert in this kind of field. This style is new to me, so I'm doing it in smaller sections. As always, this is purely my opinion, and if you don't like that, that's okay. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the scares. This game is a weird mix of FNAF 1 through 4 in terms of gameplay and in some aspects they get this extremely right, with some of the sounds being used beautifully to hear the animatronics when they're after you. However, sometimes these sounds mesh too hard together, creating a confusing wall of delusion, which makes it 10 times harder to beat. It gets even worse past night 3, when all the sounds sort of just pile on top of each other creating one massive ass mess of sound that f that makes the later nights almost impossible to beat. Each night has their own unique animatronic that shows up and their own phone guy talk that happens before each night. We'll start with the phone guy calls now before we get into the actual nights. Hey Henry. William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. It's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. We want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open it. I know, but please keep safety in mind. Above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project, okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Night One's phone call seems like Henry and William Afton each have their own sort of animatronic attraction just based off of what Night One's phone call says. Henry seems rather nosy, frankly, while you can sort of hear the joy in William's voice, at least for now anyways, it's clear he feels some form of happiness, at least within the first phone call. Henry is rather stressed about the attacks, however, that doesn't seem to phase William. some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. And they're all so worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgment. My personal life has nothing to do with my work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. I see. Just remember that I'm here to support you and the company need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the progress. Please do. And keep in mind that safety comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. 
Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. The second night phone call has William Afton getting asked a shit ton of questions regarding safety within his work, and Henry is clearly worried that William is stressing and or going to hurt himself or hurt others due to his divorce, and frankly, I understand William's annoyance. I too would also be pissed after a while if someone kept budging me about how I felt after the divorce I was suffering with. Obviously, we hate William on this channel, aside from him being a hot motherfucker in the books. Obviously, that's a joke. So I kind of understand him a bit in this story so far. Hello, William. How are you doing today? Hello, Henry. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design, and we were a bit concerned that they looked a little too scary and robotic. What were your thoughts on that? Well, I can understand why they might think that, but I assure you the final project will be much more child-friendly. The employees only saw a work in progress and were still fine-tuning the details. I hope you're right, William. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. All right, then. I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with, with the uh, divorce proceedings? Henry keeps asking how William is doing, and Henry asks about the new animatronic designs on the night three phone call for the franchise, and William assures him they will be more child-friendly and dismisses Henry with his words. Henry loves to push about safety while William seems to be getting more and more fake happy and pretending like everything is okay while also causing a fuckload of trouble for Henry and the franchise.
On night four, Henry starts bothering William more and more, and you can start to hear William getting more pissed off with Henry due to the fact that he keeps pushing William to be safe. When it's unclear on if he is or isn't safe, either way, William keeps snapping at Henry, and it's very apparent that he wants no part in Henry's opinion on how he runs things. On night five's phone call, it seems like William has lost his child and Henry kind of gives off the vibes of caring, but not really actually caring. Henry has that kind of voice that I really fucking hate, the kind that pretends to care but doesn't actually care about you. They just care about their own image and making sure they're better than you. Henry, at least in this series, seems to be an annoying little bitch boy that pokes into everyone else's business and ruin things, pisses off William, and does a lot more damage than good. Now, after listening to all these tapes again, I could say without a doubt that I honestly hate both sides. However, given the fact that Henry is a nosy little bitch boy, I think he's one of the main issues. Maybe it's just me, but the voice acting for Henry pisses me off. Maybe it's just his character, but I prefer William's voice actor towards Henry. I think Henry is a great character, and how they did him was kind of annoying, but overall, I really, really liked the story the phone calls played. Now, onto each night, I'll just go rapid fire. Night one is obviously the easiest one dealing with Spring Bonnie. There's nothing really to say here, aside from the fact that his design was amazing, and I couldn't be more proud of the devs for making such an amazing design. You use the cams to watch him move closer, um, close enough, same with Golden Fredbear, you just shut the door and some really deep, creepy sounds play. This goes for the majority when I say that Fredbear's and Spring Bonnie's designs are amazing and so are the other ones. However, what they do mechanical wise is pretty much useless because you don't have to look at every single camera to find them. Same with every other animatronic, you literally just have to look at the cameras that are right next to your office, and that is about it. I wish that they did a lot more with the characters in that regard, because unlike other games, you really just have to look at those two cameras, and then that's it. Even with the new challenges that I'm about to get into, um, that there's no actual challenge going on within this story currently. Now, night three and four are pretty scary and kind of annoyed me, and this is the reason why I got really pissed off while playing this game. Night 3 cranks up the difficulty by 10, and so does Night 4, where in Night 3 you get the puppet looking 
motherfucker that stays under your desk poking your booty cheeks, you just flash her and she goes away. The other that show up are really fucking annoying, however. The hide and seek bunny and the golden fredbear that screeches and makes weird ass comments that behave similar to spring bonnie and golden fredbear. They just show up, have three phases, shut the door, and they're gone. Now, I know that they did mention within the description of this game new sort of like ways to pursue things, but I'm just saying that the nights get insanely hard with the music blurring and becoming way too fucking hard to listen to and understand what goes with who as everything just becomes a chaotic mess of sound and blurriness. I dislike these nights the most as they were the least fun to play, way too stressful and frankly not worth my time. The last part I wanted to mention is the fact that these guys humbled themselves way too much. Yes, there are blatant issues with this game, the fact the jump scares are so fucking loud it hurt my ears and I had to stop my livestream due to the pain and no, my headphones weren't too loud, that shit still hurt. It was that mixed with the blurry shitty audio that makes me upset and the random crank and difficulty was also a pain and unnecessary. The cams were way too blurry and too hard to see, and I don't care if that's peak horror. Darkness slash being blind not to see any of the horror doesn't make it scary, it just pisses people off. They did an amazing job overall, and I wish they gave themselves more credit instead of shitting on their hard work. I really recommend anyone play this game if you like it, but I think personally where it is right now that some of it needs to be fixed or else it's just too much of a pain in the ass to play. I'll leave the game in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. And if you like this style of content, please let me know as it helps me grow and learn how to write this kind of stuff and make this kind of content. Bye guys. Peace out.